Hi, I'm Madison Croft, and I'm here to cook a blueberry crunch, but we have a special guest today, the head breader at Chick-fil-A in Moultrie, Maxwell Castillo. Come on down. See, Max. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Max. Max, my special friend, uh, Max, is yeah. here. He's uh, the head breader at Chick-fil-A and also my former roommate. So, you ready to start cooking? Uh, sure, but hey, you gotta make sure you wash your hands first. That's Chick-fil-A protocol. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. I'm done washing my hands, so now the protocol will be to dry them, right? Yeah. God, it's hot here. You're going to want to dispose of your, uh, your, uh, wet nap, or napkin, whatever they call it. We have, uh, uh, three cups of blueberries, half a cup of sugar, and then, uh, how much sugar is in that one, Max? One-fourth of a cup. One-fourth of a cup, and then we have a stick of butter cut up. And a little bowl of one whole cup of pecans. One whole cup. Up. One whole cup of chopped pecans. So what you're gonna do first is preheat the oven to uh, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. So your first action is going to be pouring the cup of or bowl of three blueberries in. Three cups of blueberries. Yeah, three cups of blueberries. Thank you, Maxwell. In the uh, the pan or glass, whatever. And then you're gonna grab the can of don't don't do it that way. Hold it up, yeah, straight. Um, <laughs> you're gonna want to open the can of pineapple tidbits. Um, you're <laughs> gonna want to yeah. See see how Thank team you. yeah teamwork. Just slowly let it drain out all into the blueberries and let all the pineapples fall out as they will. Kind of let that mix in a little bit more, and you're gonna want to kind of mush it in together. So the next action will be to get the uh, larger bowl of sugar, the one half cup, the one half cup, and to evenly sprinkle it across the top layer of the blueberries and pineapples that you previously mushed together. So the next action or step is to grab your bowl of a stick of butter and place a napkin over the top of it if you would Maxwell. I'm going to place it into the microwave. And you're going to put the napkin on top. So what you're going to do is... You're going to want to do it for 30 second yes, intervals. 30 se well the first interval is 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So while that's cooking we want to open the cake mix. And uh, spread it over the, the top. You struggling, everybody? <laughs> Absolutely not. You're sweating, Ish. pinballs, bro. <laughs> Evenly. Um, so yeah, like so. And Maxwell, if you could, you as you spread it, I will go retrieve the bowl of stick butter and take it out. Well, in the background. I'm in the background. Right now, you're watching Maxwell spread the, uh, the, the cake mix. But right now, what you can't see, or maybe can't see, is me stirring the butter in the microwave. And I will replace the napkin on top and do it for another 15 second interval. Okay, so what you're going to do is uh, spread the butter over the top of it. You're going to try to get it everywhere as much as you can on it. Pick up your bowl of pecans and kind of like gently layer them all out as much as you can. You want to get it as open it up for him. And he will shut it like so. And it will cook for 40 minutes approximately. So you're going to want to put a timer 40. You want to start it. And now it's cooking and we'll be back when it's ready.